Hello everyone and welcome to the November edition of the PPC Now. I'm Ken Gerlinger. Our fall championship seasons are over and we're going to take a look back at our cross-country soccer and volleyball championships. Young Harris won their first men's soccer tournament championship beating U.S. Aiken in the championship game at Blanchard Woods Park. The Mountain Lions ranked number two in the nation needed overtime before this goal from Kendall Carballo gave Young Harris the title. On the women's side, it was another one to nothing decision as Columbus State defeated North Georgia in the championship match. Nicole Corsioni scored the lone goal of the match early on, and the Columbus State defense made a stand up, shutting out the top scoring team in the nation for the remainder of the game. The 2014 Cross Country Championships were about more than just races, as the events were held for the first time on a military installation. In the first event of the NCAA Division II Military Initiative, the PBC Cross Country Races were held at Fort Gordon in Augusta, Georgia. The championships were combined with the local fun run and the PBC's free soccer clinic for kids. Hundreds of spectators, including PBC men's and women's soccer teams, were on hand to see Montevallo capture the women's championship and Columbus State win on the men's side. Individually, Montevallo's Katie Nelson won the championship in a time of 21-24, while Clayton State's Job Kimboy won the men's individual title in 24 minutes and 25 seconds. In women's cross country, both Montevallo and North Georgia went on to finish in the top three at the NCAA Southeast Regionals, and both will run in the national championships in Louisville in early December. Also competing in Louisville will be Clayton State's Job Kimboy and Flagler's Corey Mundy, who are both among the top four finishers at the NCAA Regional. On now to volleyball, where Armstrong State won their third straight tournament championship, beating a tough Flagler team three to one in the championship match. Flagler was the first seventh seed to ever reach the title game, but could not hold off the Pirates and tournament MVP Emily Wiley. I had the chance to speak to Emily following the match. Talk about the way you played. It seemed like you hardly made any mistakes at all. Every time you got the ball where you needed it, it was almost an automatic. Well, I mean, the my setter set me up really well. My passers, they, they passed to her well. We just all communicated, and they talked to me. I was able to, you know, give use what they gave me and be able to put the ball away. The postseason awards have started rolling in with dozens of PPC student athletes named all region and soon to be all Americans. We need to point out a couple of special awards as Young Harris's Illy Illich, UNC Pembroke's Sam Miles, and Columbus State's Kelsey Pelletier were all named COSIDA Academic All Americans. That is widely regarded as the highest individual honor a student athlete can achieve because it combines athletic and academic performance. Congratulations to those three outstanding student athletes. We may have more of those announcements coming, so please keep checking the PBC website. It's time to reveal the November PBC Play of the Month Championship Edition. All of the nominated plays came from PBC Championship events, and with hundreds of you voting online, our winner is Montevallo's Sarah Guidry and this kill in the PBC Volleyball Semifinals. <laughs> Congratulations to Sarah and the Montevallo Volleyball team for having the PPC Play of the Month. We'll have another edition in December, so keep an eye out for that. Well, that's about all the time we have today for Kristen Jones, Behind the Seas, and everyone who helps put this show together. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and we will see you next time right here on the PPC Now. Was that a turkey? I need turkey. Turkey. Come here, turkey. Turkey! <laughs>